Hi, I'd like to introduce our 14 inch Atlas Quad. This friction stay window hinge is new and it's multifunction. It is egress, which means it is fire escape, so it opens all the way out, so you have ease of escape in a fire. It's easy clean, which means you can slide the sash across and clean the sash. I'll show you all those at a moment. It has a restricted uh, opening, so it has a restrictor built in. And it's heavy duty, so it means it's going to take wear and tear from windows that would be opened at low slot. So, the, first of all, we have two different types. We have a left hand opening and a right hand opening. So, we have to just make sure that you know which is which in order for you to get the correct hinge. So, this is a left hand opening here, so you can see that it sits into the corner of the window, so the sash itself, so the frame would be there. So your sash would open out this direction. So this is for a left hand opening, which means your sash opens in and out like this. We come across here and you can see that this side is the side that your window handle would be on. Okay, so let's discuss it a little bit further. So in the position that it is here, it is in the restricted position. So this means it won't open. So it won't open very far. Apologies. Okay, so we can see then that your sash here would be restricted to this amount on the frame. So you can let some air in, but it's, it's, it's very, very safe. And it will not open any further than that. So we bring it back into position and then we go and we turn off the restriction. So now we want to open the window fully. Okay, we want to put it into the fire escape position. So we have to press down. Now you do need to give it a little bit of a press, but it doesn't need a huge amount of power. Okay, and we have it now. So this is in the egress position. This means that your sash is fully open and you have plenty of room for escape in the fire escape. Okay. Um, that that's now again we have to go through that uh, and discuss that as well the fact is that this has to make sure that your opening and your sash is wide enough to allow for this full opening piece this would not go to the very edge you would probably need to have go further out here with your sash so this would probably be for about a five to six hundred opening Okay, so the next thing I'd like to introduce is the e uh, easy clean. All right, so now we have our, our, our window open and we have it in the fire escape position. And now we want to clean our window. So we press down on the inside press button. There's two. You can hear the click. And your window gently slides across. Now you can hear the click again. And that says now that it's locked into the easy clean position. So we're in the restricted position now and we want to be able to close the window back down again. So we press down on this side and we slide it all the way across. Now listen for the click. There it is. So it's back in position. So now you can actually just close your window. So you slide it across and click back into position again. This one you can see is right so that means it sits on the top there is no restrictor on this one at all there is an easy clean of course but there is no restrictor on this particular one so we open it and we click it across for easy clean and click it again and now both top and bottom are closed and in the restricted position so this would be a pair that you would use you can see this would be for a left hand hinge opening with a right hand handle so your window opens this way this is type a and i'll show you type b in a moment 